is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is The Chris Abraham Show, Season 6, Episode 25. 25? 24? No, 25? 25? Um, 20, 25, 25, uh, um, I think it's 25, je pense, j'espère ça, um, I'm gonna be talking about my addiction to Alpha Smarts, look up Alpha Smarts, maybe some of you youngins use the Alpha Smart typewriter as a youngin, I was an early adopter for an old guy, and did a lot of blog writing using this tool, which is basically a mechanical keyboard, and a little LCD display. I've had one with iOS. I've had, I mean, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah, iOS. No, no. Um, yes, something like that. Like Apple, no, no, it used, uh, Palm? Palm OS? Maybe Palm OS? I had one that was just, like, it's called the Neo and the Neo 2. I've had the, this, and I tried to spend big bucks on, a uh, uh, tool called a free write, which looks like a typewriter, but with an, uh, uh, an e-ink display and Wi-Fi so that you can upload things magically to the cloud. But it's such a big son of a bitch that I just never used it and never came along with me. So uh, I've been flirting with going back to my Neo, but it just didn't work for me. So I was on Reddit and I found this guy who put a fully functional, like full on computer mechanical keyboard onto a an alpha smart that i had never used called the alpha smart 3000 which i think was one of the first ones before the neos and before the palm os ones and uh i've got it with me right now i feel like when out when when free write um finally ships its alpha writer alpha it's its version of the alpha smart that has wi-fi and connects to the cloud. I believe that I have one pre-ordered, but I bought this hand-hacked, hand-adapted AlphaSmart 3000 with a mechanical keyboard, and it's right here on me, connected to the prop bag that I bought that is a simulacrum of a French army musette bag, which is also a simulacrum of a prop that was in the movie devil something with uh with the guy who played uh the pirate in that movie by disney um so i have that crossbody and i have the required cables for those of you who know alpha smart you know that you need a printer cable and it has an ir so i have an ir adapter that i had from back in the day and i'm gonna see if i can figure that out it's gonna be even more difficult because all of my laptops are linux boxes so I'll probably just use the printer cable that will send when I hit the send button, it will send the text as if it's being typewritten into whatever Word doc or blog post or whatever I want to put it into. So, but I'm really excited to see what a Alpha Smart feels like with actually a proper mechanical keyboard. And uh, I'll see if it takes, right? Like, I buy all kinds of crazy stuff. In fact, I buy so much crazy stuff that my friends are beginning to notice. Uh, and now they're beginning to judge me and the fact that I don't have a retirement plan because of all the crazy shit that I buy. But nothing ever seems to stick, right? Maybe, maybe it's in my head. I mean, it's not in my head, right? Like, I'm pretty committed to the X220 ThinkPad, right? Once I discover a proper, perfect thing, I stick with it. Like this stupid French Army Musette bag... I was thinking about selling it through Linda Goin, or Goin, but uh, but I I can't I can't quit it. Whereas the simulated simulacrum, uh, what is it called? Um, the simulated prop reproduction of the uh, crossbody bag from uh, uh, Indiana Jones is not working for me. It's uh, it doesn't have the quality of build and. It just sort of, it's not doing it for me. I like the uh, Japanese canvas bag 
much better. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Once I get to the library, I'm going to intersperse my work day with trying to start writing uh, articles about SEO. I need to become, uh, in the modern world, I need to again become the god of, uh, of SEO. And I feel like if I have an opportunity to write this stuff um, into an alpha write, I'll be able to focus and won't be distracted by constantly needing to check Facebook and Twitter and threads and blue sky and Instagram and Reddit and so forth. So j'espère ça. Inshallah. 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 So now, oh, news update. On Monday, I had my yearly physical with a nurse practitioner called Jenna. And I swear to God, I'm going to ask everybody if I have a choice, I'm always going to choose nurse practitioners. Anyway, Jana gave me all my stuff, but she also gave me my second shingle shot and my yearly flu shot. And I was pretty psyched, like uh, no, uh, no pain, no oppression, no disastrous consequences, no sadness, weakness, and malaise. And then I went to bed and my heart was not in tachycardia, but my like, my heart never left sinus rhythm, but it was like up in the 80s and 90s the entire night. And I slept for 13 hours and I couldn't motivate until like five o'clock, in which case at five o'clock, I only had the chutzpah to put together kind of a half-assed proposal. So that makes Jesus cry. And today I'm kind of under the gun to get a lot of hours done. But I would also like to go to the gym, but I also don't want to go to the gym because I'm feeling like I'm a lazy bastard. I want to get the extra hours and maybe I am not consequence free from that experience of the awful and terrible uh, flu and uh, flu and uh, shingles shot. That was my second shot. So maybe I'll just work today catch up from yesterday, and then either take care of it, maybe start my, my Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Friday, and uh, go from there and commit like a mofo. So anyway, I'm getting close to Starbucks. This is going to be a short episode, but uh, let me know if you've ever used an alpha right or if you've ever seen ads for the free right. There's like the Traveler, and then there's like, uh, it's going to be an alpha smart version then there's like the big typewriter version that I have. I mean, it's a gorgeous pied d'or, but it's just not something I'd slip around. Anyway, lots of love to you. Mahalo, ciao. This was the Chris Abraham so Show, Season 6, Episode 25. 25, 24. No, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 25. Ciao, bye-bye. for listening to the chris abraham show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes until next time